Okay, so do you know what the Hutchinson effect is, or better pronounced Hutchison effect? It's, uh, I, I wasn't quite sure, and I'm not sure that I am now, but I just watched a three hour interview of the John Hutchison uh, by um, Math Easy Solutions, Matthew uh, Estefo, who is a, um, lack of a better word, is a disciple of Judy Wood, who solved 9-11, and who says in her book, Where Did the Towers Go?, that the 9-11 event reveals the existence of free energy. Um, so naturally, any of us who, you know, understand how much petroleum uh, causes wars and harms the planet, uh, climate change, uh, want free energy. And that's why um, I was so thrilled to see the Math Easy Solutions uh, interview Mr. Hutchison because he's part of the understanding of the free energy question. Um, unfortunately, the first two and a half hours for me were non-productive because they, it was as if these two people with a lot of experience and know-how in this area were reminiscing and laughing about different things that have happened in their lives, but not getting to the educational part of saying, answering three questions, which I finally asked them to do at the end. So the last half hour of the show, if you're going to watch the link here, I'm, I'm linking that show, I would start at the two hour and 30 minute mark because the first um, two and a half hours are really, it's like inside baseball, inside politics. It, uh, it's, it doesn't really help the person who's new to the subject even understand what they're talking about, right? Um, and they finally actually even personally uh, said, Jackson Rip Holmes asked these three questions. Could you please uh, try and answer? And, and they did. And so what did I get from it? I got, I got to go back and rewatch it. Um, but I'll give you my quick take on it. He was, um, he, he's like, has an engineering background. He was testing, uh, something like, I, I'm going to get the terminology wrong, but wave, wave stream energy, you know, where you, you have microwaves, right? And then there's another type of waves he was testing as far as its effect on, uh, uh, another thing that happens, right? And then when he did this, he found that it had profound impact on uh, metal steel. It would melt steel uh, or twist it around or something, and even that it would cause things to levitate. Of course, we're all fascinated with levitation. Uh, and so he said that's how it got started. So I said, how how was the Hutchison effect produced. And he said, well, that's, that's how he got started with it. Uh, he was, and, and then uh, Matthew Stefan, the host said that he, he was tinkering and it had an unexpected effect, but which is the Hutchison effect of like levitation and uh, the uh, melting of steel just through a wave, right? Um, so, then uh, Nancy uh, Hutchison, his wife, piped in with some clarification. Um, I'm going to have to uh, make a copy of the last half hour probably and post it on, on my own video here just so to help you, the, the, the viewer, get a, uh, a grasp of this extremely important subject. We all want to know, is free energy something to take seriously? Um, with that, then it's now four hours. It's now four hours. <laughs> I was watching for three hours, uh, four minutes, uh, pushing five. So I'm going to I'm going to terminate this. But the the takeaway then is, I was about to throw in a towel and said it's none of it's making sense. It's it's a poor reflection on Judy Wood. But in the last half hour, they they finally did uh, John, the Hutchinson effect for dummies, like me. And now it does, it, I, my, my hope is restored. Yes, there's the, the free energy 
claim is uh, is is uh, alive and well.